John Kerry landed this morning in Israel as part of his ongoing efforts to broker an agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. If not, my name is not John Kerry. John Kerry. John Kerry? Yes. I'm E.T. John Kerry. John Kerry Solutions. Huh? Yes. Kerry began his tour at the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem, perhaps the most sensitive issue in the negotiations. Providing Jerusalem is not an easy thing. We must realize that it's holy to all religions, Jews, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, Klingons, and Hobbits. But what I'm saying is, why fight over an old wall? I'll build you a brand new wall, close to the beach. I think you should go home where you belong and stay there. From Jerusalem, Kerry continued to the Jordan Valley where he presented alternate solutions to the current security arrangements. We mustn't be fixated on the old paradigms. As if only the Israeli army can defend Israel. This little camera I'm holding here creates a mighty psychological barrier. For any terrorist who tries to infiltrate Israel, the moment the terrorist passes, bang! He takes his picture, uploads immediately to Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, creates a kind of shaming no terrorist can handle. Kerry's day ended at the lookout on the Azraeli Towers in Tel Aviv from which he observed the mountains of Samaria. You know, we have a saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Well, it doesn't get any closer than this. The important guest and his entourage piqued the curiosity of passers-by. Kerry took a few minutes to speak to them. It's very good you have a helmet, you know, soon there'll be a lot of rockets. Shalom. Though his visit did not yield results yet, Kerry remains hopeful that there still might be a worthwhile outcome. Do you think I deserve a Nobel Prize? I don't know what you're doing, but... I think I do. Good luck.